Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R740 server. In this video, we're gonna specifically focus on mass updates. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R740 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, let's hop in. Uh, this video will be specifically focused on mass updates. It's one of my favorite videos in the series because really keeping your system up to date is incredibly important. There's always new issues that arrive. You always need new patches. If you wanna use some of the newest processors or if you wanna use the fastest speed, sometimes you gotta have an updated BIOS and updated firmware and updated everything for that matter. So what we're gonna do with the mass updates video is we're gonna show you not only how to update your BIOS, update your firmware, update your onboard diagnostics, update your NIC controller, update really everything inside. And the nice thing about this is what we're gonna do is show you how to log in through a network interface, get to the uh, Dell uh, share folder, which has all the desired updates, and then you can pick which ones you want. So if there's something you don't wanna update, you don't have to update it, but you can go through and just simply click the boxes of everything you wanna update. It is incredibly easy to do. And what we're gonna do is show you step-by-step -step instructions on exactly how to do it. So let's get to the fun stuff. Hey guys, this has been with Cloud Ninjas, and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to perform mass updates. Mass updates is a great way to go ahead and update a bunch of different things for your server all at once. It's going to update things like firmware for your RAID controller, for your network card. Um, it's also going to update things like your BIOS, uh, your onboard diagnostics, different driver packs, and even your iDRAC, um, and a couple of other things. So it's, it's a really neat feature that is integrated within um, Dell's lifecycle controller. So the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and boot up your server. And during post, you wanna go ahead and press F10 so we can go ahead and enter into the lifecycle controller. Once we are in lifecycle controller, we wanna go ahead and scroll down. You wanna go ahead and scroll down to settings. And then we wanna go ahead and click on network settings. And then here we're gonna go ahead and connect our server to the internet. So we're gonna go ahead and keep our NIC port one. And then we're going to set a IP address via DHCP. Later on in the series, we have a video talking about how to set a static IP and a DHCP IP address. So if you're interested to learn a little bit more about that, go ahead and check out that video. Uh, but we wanna go ahead and set this DHCP IP address. We will go ahead and let this load. And once it is successful, we can go ahead and click on finish. Essentially by doing this, this is what's going to allow us to connect to the internet so we can go ahead and pull all of the updates we need from a Dell Downloads Network Share. So once we've done that, we wanna scroll up to Firmware Update, and then we wanna click on Launch Firmware Update. And here we wanna scroll down and select Network Share, and then we can go ahead and click on Next. Up here, we wanna change this to HTTPS, and then we want to type in the shared name address, which is going to be downloads.dell.com. Once we've typed that in, we can go ahead and scroll all the way down and then just click on next. And then we'll give this a second to load. And this is going to download and validate all of the update packages. So we can go ahead and then access them and then select the ones we want. So here we can just go ahead and click on yes. And this is only because since we are using servers that aren't supported anymore, um, that certificate that we're going to to download these updates, um, the certificate's no longer invalid, but it is completely safe. So we can just go ahead and ignore that message. Once all the download packages are finished, we are presented with all of the different updates that we can do. And if something is not up to date, um, it'll automatically select it. As you can see that we have check marks on some of these, and then some of these don't have any check marks um, because they're already completely up to date. So we can just go ahead and scroll down and be able to see all the different updates we can run. We can pick and choose different ones. So once we've selected all the ones we wanna do, we can just go ahead and click apply. And then this is actually gonna start downloading the update packages. So this part may take a little bit of time, but we're just going to wait this out. And then once it's done downloading the download packages, the mass updates will begin and then we can just sit back and relax. So like I said, all we got to do is just sit back and relax and wait for all this to finish. These updates can take several hours um, and there's a lot of factors that determine um, how long this will take. A lot of it has to do with how many updates you have selected, which updates you have selected 
for us, we selected a good amount of different updates. Um, so it's going to take us a little bit of time. Like I said, it could take several hours. Uh, it could take, you know, 30 minutes if you don't have any updates selected, or it could take, you know, 10 hours or so. Sometimes what we like to do um, is we'll like to go ahead and run mass updates on a bunch of different servers that we're going to be sending out to clients. And, you know, we'll come back in the morning and sometimes they're not fully updated. They're still running. Sometimes we just have systems that are very out of date. So we go ahead and, you know, keep that running overnight. But mass updates is such a great way to go ahead and update everything on your system and make sure the system's fully up to date. If you found this video useful, go ahead and leave a like and smash to subscribe and if you're interested in purchasing a custom built server whether it's dell hp supermicro cisco uh, so if that's something you're interested in go ahead and email us at sales at cloud that's sales at cloud